Somebody has to say it, so I guess it's gonna be me. Stop telling everyone everything. As a matter of fact, she rules number 11 is no one gets to know everything. I know, I know, you're saying, but Jessica, aren't you the one that tells me that if I wanna grow my business and my referrals and my social media following, that I need to be out here running my mouth and talking, talking, talking? Absolutely. But for most of you, you need to do a better job of controlling and being more intentional about what you talk about. So when I say nobody gets to know everything, I mean that in the literal sense. Look, I wrote a book. I wrote a number one bestseller about the 10 biggest mistakes that I've made in my life and the lessons I learned from them that I hope that the reader would get something out of it too, right? Lessons that the reader could learn but I still didn't put everything in my book. I don't go around telling everyone all of my hopes and all of my dreams. I don't go around all over social media and talk about every single thing that happens to me every single day. I don't talk about drama. I don't talk about uh, actually, I don't talk about half of the dealings that I do. There are different companies and teams that I work with that I train privately and that I consult for that I actually have contracts, confidentiality agreements that I can't tell people <laughs> that I train them, right? I'm their secret weapon and they don't want everyone to know about it. And while it is so important to have a message and yes, run your mouth on social media, you have to be careful that what you're saying is intentional and is congruent with the brand that you're trying to build, right? So I'm all sunshine and rainbows and happiness and possibility, but if I jumped on one day and I was like, oh my gosh, my dog pooped in his cage and I had to clean it out and I had to take the blankets for the laundry mat and oh, poor pitiful me, or my flight was delayed and oh, this or that, or this bill was too high and the builder's still jacking around with, because I have a new house, right? The builder's still jacking around with this or that and getting on and complaining and bitching all the time. It wouldn't fit with the light that I'm trying to shine to the world. But also, no one gets to know the private inner workings with you. There are goals and things that I want to accomplish that there are only three people I will talk to about them, right? So first, if I have an idea, if I have a goal, I have something I really want to accomplish, I will flush it out a little bit inside and then I will go to my husband and talk through it with him because he's been with me for almost 20 years. He can say things to me that other people can't say. We had an incredible conversation just uh, last week on the patio where I said, I'm thinking about this, this, and this, and he kind of, he called, no, there's no kind of about it. He absolutely called me out and said, that's not your next step. That's not what you need to be doing. That's not what you're here for. You're retreating, that's your safe place. You need to move on. That's, we're not gonna do that. That's not a goal that you need to even be working about because you're made for bigger things. But once I, there are some things that I go to flush out and I just can't make sense of them <clears throat> or I can't justify them or whatever. And so I won't take them to my husband and that's kind of a litmus test for me, but then I'll take it to him. And then if we talk about it and he's like, yep, okay, that, that sounds good. Or yeah, sometimes he'll be like, well, you're crazy. That sounds crazy. Right. And then I'm like, okay, but I think it's good. What do you think? <laughs> he'll tell me if he thinks it's good or not. And then I have two coaches that I pay to combine over six figures and I will decide which one do I need to talk about. Now, they're both very different. They have different expertise and it's amazing. And so sometimes I will go to both of them and say, hey, here's what I'm working on. Here's what I need some advice on. But what you don't want to do is have this big goal and this big dream and, and to be honest, and again, this is this is the whole part where somebody needs to say it, I wanna be the one to say it. What you don't wanna do is take your big goals and shout them from the rooftop. Because what you think is gonna happen is people will be like, oh, let me help you, and oh, that's so good, and that's great, and all that. 
but that's not what's going to happen, okay? Unfortunately, people in your inner circle can sometimes start to get jealous, right? They can, when you start to climb the mountain, they see themselves at the bottom of the mountain and they're not gonna climb. I have a trusted circle of other business owners, other entrepreneurs that I can go to and say, this is what I'm trying to accomplish. So what I'm saying is, you can't go to social media or in general and just start talking about everything, all of your personal feelings, your personal goals, the things you're trying to accomplish. No one gets to know everything. Protect your heart, my friend. Yes, we will accomplish the Yes, you can come to me and tell me your big dreams. I am a safe place. I will absolutely encourage you and help you if I can. <laughs> right? You need, you want to know how I average over 500 referrals a year? Slide into my DMs. I got tools for you. I will help you. Be careful who you talk to. Be careful who you share things with. But again, even me personally, having written a book that went to a number one new release, number one bestseller, multiple categories, even for me, nobody gets to know everything.